What's up, everybody, and welcome to Very Real Tournament, a comedy battle cast that pits two very real opponents against each other in a very real fight. This week, we go into Texas, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right yeah, time yeah. for Hook of Horns. <laughs> Nothing's bigger. The spookiest state. <laughs> It's pretty spooky. They Everything's murder. larger, including the knives and the guns and the hats. And, and the spooks are bigger. <laughs> and the death penalty is bigger, too. Right. That's the yeah, scariest thing of it all. That you know? bigger? Yeah. Sure. Thanks, More? Thanks, Corey's Law Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is scary because the state can murder you. Yeah. I mean, it's the worst enemy of all. That's yeah. the real massacre. I know. When it's got you a go lot of pointy edges, a, too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that's true. Uh, when you go right up in. against a serial killer, you hope that the government will help you, but it turns out they'll kill you too. <laughs> and it'll be just as horrifying. And if the big bad government isn't going to come after you, uh, a karate cop is going to come <laughs> Hell fucking yes. punch you through a uh, window. No, 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 no. Not karate. Martial, Martial arts. arts. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, they never specify. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Today we got a couple of Texas boys. One walks and one kind of shambles slash runs. <laughs> I don't know. He dances a lot. He does right. some dancing. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, when you're, it's a real sweaty day and you have to kind of penguin run. Right. <laughs> That's what he <laughs> Through like. your living room filled with bone furniture. Right. Or if you're wearing two pairs of pants and the inner pair starts to slide down. Oh, That's yeah. kind of what it looks like. That's fun. I know what you're saying. That's always They fun. never have to deal with that in Texas because it's so darn hot there. Yep. Yep. We got Walker, Texas Ranger, Chuck Norris, the god himself. Versus Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm-hmm. Let's do it right now. I'm Nick Potter. I'm Joey Potter. Colin Say. Corey Music. And it's about to get very Texas. Now, guys, I used to think that the states that we are from would breed some pretty bad villains, right? Kentucky, Indiana, you know, we got that uh, guy Mitch McConnell out there doing some bad stuff. Yeah. We got Mike Pence from Indiana being, you know, the vice president. Some villains. We got Abraham Lincoln. He was a villain (laughs) to slave owners. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's a matter of perspective, I guess. He was a villain to vampires. Yep. Also a villain to vampires. We got uh, (laughs) Phil Harrison, the CEO of Google Stadia. Is a villain to the other consoles in the market? Okay. Whoa. Yeah. I if I can <laughs> wow. do my Abraham Lincoln joke, you can do that. All right. And we have Jennifer Lawrence, who is a villain to her own hometown. She fucking hates us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never say it out loud, but we know she does. Uh, I think she is. That's why she so. left. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it, because she fucking told me so. Yeah, man. I mean, Indiana's got Mike Epps, villain to comedy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mike Epps is all right. He means no Matt Bevan or something. Dude, he had those gold guns in Resident Evil 2. Right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. He, I think he made a Grand Theft Auto joke because everyone did back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, dude, Texas has the worst of the worst, right? I mm-hmm. mean, Leatherface is a pretty bad dude. Yeah. Leatherface, he's not, not, the, not the best dude. Right. I mean, he's not a great guy. His family also... Pretty shitty people. I yeah. think we can all agree it's on that. It's mostly the family that, that are shitty people. Yeah. 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 They guided him in a certain way. But, I mean, Texas also has cops that just have no jurisdiction. No, They never get in trouble for anything. Free reign. I mean, right. Chuck Norris. That free yeah. range is what you're looking well, okay. for. Yeah. Uh, and they err around. Open range. They also Ooh. got uh, Vanilla Ice from Texas, villain to the music industry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I never would have guessed that. Yeah. He's like that one song, the one song. They, He's talking about right. being in California or whatever. Like they have a ton of villains from various just nineteen eighties movies that yeah. are nameless and have just those. What are those bow? What are those ties? Bow those ties? Ne- bow ties. Bolo ties. Bolo ties. Bolo ties. Yeah. Is what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's Bolo Oil Baron, and we're here. And that's right. true. Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ethan Hawke, he was a villain to the boy from Boyhood, I think. Yeah. 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 Or Patricia Arquette. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in a while. (laughs) But yeah, they got a lot of bad people. He's a villain to aging. (laughs) He was a villain to Crooked Cops in Training Day? Yeah, Yeah, he was. Yeah, Yeah, Denzel was the hero of that movie, if I recall correctly. (laughs) I think you're right, yeah. 
He's King Kong of, didn't have anything on. Yeah, he, yeah. King he, Kong was a villain. Right. Yeah. He, he was more of a wet blanket uh, <laughs> to the gang members. He, he wasn't much of a threat. <laughs> You're ruining our good time <laughs> buying cops off and stuff. <laughs> right. They're just like, ah, who brought this guy? Ethan yeah. Hawk? Really? He does PCP because... Texas, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, I guess, guys, is everything in perspective. We think that we have a lot of bad people that come from our state, but Texas is the just the worst. Mm, right. Yeah. And I'm sure, I'm sure, plenty of serial killers just in the real world. I'm sure they all come from Texas. Yeah, I'm not sure where Ed Gein comes from, but Ed Gein, Leatherface, kind of the same thing. Yeah. Basically. They called him Old Leatherface. <laughs> oh, boy. And Toby Hooper was like, hmm... I didn't know that, I have an but I'll lie I'll about it later. Man, I want to say it was Wisconsin. Yeah, it was Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I just, Wait, I just Wisconsin. Let a, did a thing about it again. Well, Dollar, yeah, the cheese. Wisconsin Chainsaw Massacre does not sound <laughs> as neat at all. It sounds pretty cheesy to me. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. Head cheesy. I did it. Topical humor. <laughs> all right. Let's get into these guys. We got Walker, Texas Ranger versus the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Team Cordell, that's his first name, by the by. I know you guys don't know right. that. I did not. Uh, me and Colin. Yep. Team Jessica Beal. Yes, I was hoping that wow. we would be Team Jessica Beal. Corey that's and fine. Joseph. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, he's excited. I'll go with it. Jay yeah. Beal, let's go. And yeah. Justin. She was he's there. also on the team. Un- Whoa, they get Justin Timberlake automatically? That yeah. sucks. Yeah. Good for you guys. You gotta follow all He's just them. attached to her. And Justin we get Bill. Chuck and Larry. Oh, oh fuck. You can, you can, you guys can keep I've, Chuck and Larry if that's a <laughs> if that's a deal breaker. I mean, we're not going to fight over no, it. No, I'm not actually mad about we're that. Going, album. We're going to martial art Chuck and Larry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. What does that mean? Kevin James <laughs> doing martial <laughs> arts. So that's hilarious. A lot of broken I'd noses. watch him as a cowboy, I guess. We, I didn't watch him he, as a mall cop. Like, so. well, well, he already did think, martial arts. Uh, some, isn't Welcome to Boom or something? He was like a MMA person. Yeah. Basically, what I want to see is I want to see Kevin James as like a cowboy, but all the cowboys are riding horses as he's riding that dumb Segway. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry, guys, it's too hard to ride horses. Right. He's got that dumb And then mustache. he falls down and farts or something. No, he rides a donkey that farts. Thank you. Sorry, no, he rides a Segway because you know who rides the donkey? It's Rob Schneider. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. No, yeah. you're right. Sorry, man. I Yeah. This that, movie's already been written. I've, I've read it. <laughs> it's it's Ridiculous good. Six, you're right. There's like a... 45 second donkey shitting scene with rob schneider yeah it's speaking of rob tight. schneider on my youtube uh hole that i was in watching walker texas ranger clips and stuff uh a clip from the movie big stand came up and that's a rob schneider joint where he goes to Whoa. prison for some reason and he beats up like an entire yard of prison gang i members. already don't believe this. i know movie. i was like what I is he doing like this movie. like pulling out a mop breaking it in half what? and just like beating these dudes he down with it he didn't even beat anybody up in surf ninjas and he's like the tallest guy in that movie right so, rob schneider don't fucking buy it chick norris yeah <laughs> in prison get away from gang rape <laughs> Yeah, that like they, they, I think they shortened that the big stand. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing another sort of horror movie thing. I know it's a little bit past Halloween. That's our fault for planning this poorly. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still it's in the right. spirit. Yeah, it's, it's not that far. If you the really miss Halloween, we wanted to sort of bring back the essence for right. you. Hey, yeah. If your decorations One last are down, ride. Right. one last ride. Right. And <laughs> whatever it takes. The horrors Hashtag. of the holidays are coming up. Mm-hmm. You know, that's when the real villains come out. Mm-hmm. That's um, when you have all those jokers come out because they're. <laughs> And the corporations. The cor- right. jo- the yeah, corporations all the people dressed up. as the Joker and all the corporations. Yeah. <laughs> but it makes sense because all these movies with Leatherface involve a dinner scene. So Thanksgiving. Just imagine it's Thanksgiving now. Yeah, Boom. it's right. a fight and for any, any time of year. Really. <laughs> right. And really, it is uh, it is horror because uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, we got to have a talk, fellas. Hmm. This, oh, whole, okay. this whole thing of uh, watch an entire television series <laughs> uh, can go fuck itself. Yeah, it has to end. Because uh, uh, eight uh, seasons, eight seasons and, and a, one, one TV movie yeah. for Walker, there Texas was a TV Ranger. Movie? Trial oh, by there was. Fire. And oh. I, I did not watch that, but I just read the plot. And yeah, tell me about this plot, Col- or, uh, Colin, uh, whoever you are. I... It's it has something to do. There's a bunch of like backstabbing, double agent, triple agent, double agent backstabbing going on. But then there's also sort of a side plot of North Koreans, <laughs> and they lose like a heat seeking missile, Oops. but it like ends up in a 
boy's backyard yep. in Texas, and then he's like hiding it and hiding it from the North Koreans who sort are in a, Texas. Sort of a new looking for it. Yes, sort of thing. Sort of yeah. A, it's it's. Wait, uh, is Chuck Norris hiding it, or this boy? No, who like found little it? kids. It's like half the movie what? apparently is like a plot of. And if you're a big fan of this movie, I'm getting it wrong. Fuck you. You watch this. You're a fan <laughs> of this movie, but uh, yeah, it's just all over the place. You're reading it, and it reads like. Um, they took a bunch of scripts from Batman the Animated Series and they just jammed them all into one. Yeah, and said, "Get Chucky Norris right. back." <laughs> yeah, somehow the Koreans like lose like their like terrorist missile they're going to use. I don't think it's nuclear, and uh, but it ends up in like this boy's backyard, and then he's trying to hide from the North Koreans. And meanwhile, Walker does, at the end of the movie he gets set up with a bunch of Verizon Fios uh, gear. Yeah. Yeah, that was like yeah, the new Predator exactly. movie. <laughs> oh, so yeah. also this was 2005, was so it was totally okay to use North Koreans. I don't. That was in 2005. I know my mind's being yeah. blown right now. Uh, Joey. Walker, I, Texas wow. Ranger ran from like 93 to 2001. Yeah, but we're getting way ahead of ourselves, Colin. 2001 for sure blows okay. my mind. Well, uh, first of all, Walker, Texas Ranger versus Leatherface. Obviously, there's a Texas connection. Just want to point out that my buddy, he's a fan of the show, Chaz Tyra. He, I work with him at the Bard's Town. He's the one who kind of came up with this idea. Okay. So I just want to throw him a bone for, for, for uh, suggesting. What about a nice. chainsaw? Uh, yeah, I threw him a chainsaw. People and, throwing uh, chainsaws left and right in these fucking well, movies. Well, in these movies, like you got bones and chainsaws. No shortage of either one of them. You right. forgot about uh, what about mallets bone and meat hooks? Yeah. Saw. Oh, dude, there's a miniature bone saw. Oh, we'll get into it. I'm yeah. so excited. Anyway, thank you so much, Chaz, for this idea. Yeah. It's. Uh, I hope it's funny. <laughs> right. I hope we do it justice. I hope I, know, I didn't. I know watch, Walker right. Texas Ranger does I hope justice. Your, your bone saw is ready. I hope I didn't watch four movies for nothing. <laughs> oh, I watch four? four movies too. I wonder if, if I know. I, I, I wonder they, if they I overlap they at all. <laughs> yeah, I bet they don't either. Hopefully not, because there are eight movies. So right. that, that math adds well, up. Yeah. We'll leave everyone in suspension for a second while me and Colin talk about right. uh, Cordell Walker, well, a Texas Ranger. Right. While well, we tell you about the four late night with Conan O'Brien clips we watched that just had some clips of uh, Walker. No, Texas I realized because I watched a couple <laughs> episodes, but I realized the best way to watch Walker, Texas Ranger is is through clips that have no context. And that was what was right. perfect about the Conan O'Brien Walker Texas Ranger lever that he used yeah. to have back in like 04. Right. No, it's it that, yeah, that is helpful because this is what happens when you have a whole TV series to go through. There's a ton of great nuggets, but you don't have time to sit through uh, like 50 hours of episodes to get a couple notes. Well, yeah, it's and, and very it turns repetitive. Out, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a police procedural, basically, that happens in Texas. He is a Texas Ranger, mm -hmm. um, right. played by like the 50 plus year old actor Chuck Norris. He was already over 50 when they gave him this television show. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, Walker, uh, he was an elite Marine in Vietnam mm -hmm. and then uh, ends up becoming a Texas Ranger. He's also. Half Apache. They never let you forget that. <laughs> never. So it's okay when he like punches Fucking. Indians. Well, that's the thing is yeah, that it's funny. I I think I know the reason why they did that. I know that Chuck Norris is part Apache. He says that a lot too. But in the original, the real life Texas Rangers, mm -hmm. when they were formed, a big part of their job was to fight Native Americans oh in my Texas. God. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. uh, it even said in some of the articles, like, a lot of the stuff that the Texas Rangers did was pretty illegal. <laughs> um, a, lot of stuff Chuck, West. a lot of stuff Chuck Norris does is pretty illegal. Guys, so they keep the spirit. So, yeah, he dispenses justice, but in a martial arts way. Right. And it had me thinking a lot, because I've watched police procedurals, and I think that now, in the modern times... <laughs> The world is so fucked up and scary and stuff that they want their TV to be as real as possible. Give me the boring SVU crap. Right. But in 93, they were like, this cop is going to punch and kick people through windows, set them on fire. He's going to break their noses <laughs> and nothing bad is ever going to happen to him. Imagine in the year 2019, Corey, Joey, or Colin, you see a video of a cop doing karate <laughs> to like a minority. Yeah. Like somebody takes an iPhone video of some cop, just any, and not even that. But everyone anybody. applauds though. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, he's doing justice yes. the Texas And way. then he throws this person up on the back of a horse 
walks them down to town hall and drops them on the steps. Like of it's like, 93, oh, like not 1893. <laughs> right. Like what the it's, fuck? He's redneck Batman. That's what I come to the conclusion. Um, he, uh, in the first season actually tells a story uh, that is the Batman origin story. Like, yes, absolutely. Was, His origin story is that. Go ahead. Go I was on. at a carnival and my parents, we were there and we had a carnival. This is also how he delivers all of his yeah. lines. Okay. I uh, thought Chuck, Chuck Norris was a badass. He, see, he speaks he's so bad softly. Actor. So he's softly a bad actor, and so also, one note. Yeah. He's such a terrible actor, but he has this kind of charm to him. It's it weird. is weird. It's not, and he is really good at He's a black belt in several types of martial arts, so he's I mean, pretty yeah, good at that He fought Bruce shit. Lee in a movie. That's right. one of the best fight scenes. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, uh, go ahead with the yeah, origin he, story. Yeah, uh, his parents were... Some 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 drunk thugs came up, and they started talking to my dad. Because his dad was a... Uh, he was Apache, Apache Indian. Cuck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he was proud of it. And... Uh, Boy, he just really whooped upon him, and uh, they underestimated this, him. This, they he's telling, on he's it. telling like a sixteen-year-old girl this yeah. after she's been assaulted. Um, anyway, so they kill his parents just like in Batman, and then she's like, "Well, what happened to you? Did they hurt you?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, and then they hurt me real bad." So he what? might have been molested. Yeah, we don't uh, know what they did. Re- pretty heavily. <laughs> I was hoping actually. he was going to karate them like as a child. Right, yeah. but <laughs> that was unexpected. Well, like, spider kicked the first one, and then <laughs> it was like, okay, so corny Batman story, cool. And then it's like, and I might have been assaulted by them. I was like, oh, and there was a clown there. <laughs> um. Anyway, he uh, he's got a partner. Uh, is it? J- yeah, here it is. His partner Jimmy. Who yeah. is James uh, Trevett? He's kind of like again Batman. He's very Robin. He's like the young <laughs> hip guy. I thought you were say he's also Batman. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like the young hip guy, and he knows how to use the technology, and uh, he knows the lingo. Yeah. He's from like, Baltimore, so he is hip with the streets. Right. I think Chuck Norris doesn't have time for that shit. Yeah, uh, he's an expert in martial arts. They never mention which martial arts. They yeah, just he just say is. martial arts. He uh, fights just not. He fights good, just not as good as Chuck Norris. Right. Mm. Um, all kinds of stuff happened to this man. He's been uh, stung by scorpions and lived. He's been shot in the back mm-hmm. and lived. Um, he pu- breaks a ton of noses. It's like a, almost a running gag that he'll like break someone's nose, like <laughs> punch them, and then they're like, "You broke my nose." There's a great, great clip. It's the only one I thoroughly enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Okay, Walker punches a dude in the face. He like drops to his knees. He's like, "You broke my nose," and uh, he's like. Uh, oh, sorry. Or yeah, he pulls him down by his nose. Like, sorry, let me fix that for you. He pulls him to the ground by his broken nose, and then he's like, "What the hell, man?" And then he says, "I actually liked it better the other way." And then punches him and knocks him out. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> but Jesus then, Christ! There's like ten. It's like this is a police officer. Are yeah. twenty <laughs> other episodes where he punches somebody and they go, "Oh my nose!" And he's like, "You'll get over it." So he fucking breaks noses like no one's business. Also, he will straight saw you. Yeah, he'll not like not like chainsaw. Yeah, like, like saw the jigsaw. movie franchise. Like, put he you in a trap. He lays yeah. out bear traps <laughs> for on just, your face. No, well, for criminals to just stumble into, and then when they get caught in the bear trap, he appears out of the shadows. That sounds a lot like Leatherface. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> right. remarkably like Leatherface. <laughs> it will say something like, uh, "Quit your yeah, like quit your yapping and like knock him out." <laughs> Like he after they, their fucking legs get like chewed up by a fucking yeah, bear man. man I know I'm the like, only lawyer on the podcast, but I don't need to tell you that's illegal. It's also oh, crazy absolutely. how he has a. I'll has allow a, it. <laughs> <laughs> he has a gun. He almost never uses it. He prefers karate. Okay, okay. I'm gonna keep saying karate. I know it's martial arts, but. It's basically karate. Sure. And when he pulls it out, it is like the littlest girl gun you've ever seen. Because <laughs> his, like, fe- his feet, his, you know. Oh, his fists yeah, those are too spin big. kicks. But, yeah. like, no, I was like, he better pull out a huge Clint Eastwood style, like, revolver. But it's like, what is that, your fucking sister's gun? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? <laughs> well, like, speaking of sisters, uh, he has no problem punching a woman square in the face. Okay, <laughs> punching guys, a sister there's square one in the great face. clip, and it's, it was totally out of context, where he is in one of those little biplanes. Like where the top is open And he Like there's a bad guy Chasing his girl In a camper And Mm -hmm. the bad bad guy's a woman In a car Chasing them And he climbs out Onto the wing of It's got the two Like the top and bottom wings Yeah Biplane Yeah Uh, (laughs) (laughs) And he uh, He climbs out on there They come in He jumps into the car 
pushes the woman over, and then she's like, hey, what the? And he just punches her right in the face. Oh, I thought he wow. pushed her out of the car and then backed over and then nope. like nope. went back again. Oh, huh? she had also hilariously strapped a bomb to the camper, and then he just drove up and just pulled it right off. Like, <laughs> Yeah. There's uh, a lot of bombs and stuff <laughs> in Walker, Texas Ranger. How many countdowns? A lot of countdowns? Like That's, 10, 9? I was telling Colin about this. There's one episode where they just straight up rip off Die Hard with a Vengeance, where <laughs> this guy escapes jail, and he's going around trying to ruin Walker's life. And Samuel Jackson's there? He, uh, well, Trevette's Wearing a really inappropriate sign? <laughs> I think Trevette was actually in Die Hard with a Vengeance. I think he was. Uh, the, guy, the actor. Yeah. Um, but it's like one of those things where, like, uh, he's like, you better. Has your girlfriend home? And he's like, what have you done? And he's like, you'll find out. And he like, runs. Rachel. Yeah, yeah he thinking, runs. Like, to you went to the wrong house. <laughs> no, he runs to the apartment. This is the great twist, guys. He sees her. She's tied up. He pulls the tape off. She's like, Walker, there's a bomb under me that was set to go off two minutes after the door opened. Two minutes. <laughs> Mm. Imagine if they did that in Breaking Bad in that scene with Gus where he's like dinging, but it starts a timer for two minutes. Like, yeah. And he like, walks out and just he's fine. He, he just, just fixes yeah, his tie he normally. Fixes his tie and leaves, yeah. and then the guy blows up. But yeah, comical shit like that. Also, yeah, tell him about this it. show has like supernatural elements to it. What? There is literally an episode <laughs> where a the ghost of an Indian child of course helps it's like Native American Walker solve his murder. There's another Ooh. one where Walker has to protect like a boy. Sense. There's He has to protect a boy that has telepathic powers for real. And like a shady corporation <laughs> trying to get him. Like they're like, and this is like in like season four of eight. Like they, right. like they didn't even. What happened in stores. season eight? Those fucking right. aliens. Hey, this show was number fifteen uh, in America in nineteen ninety eight. Yep. So. It was popular. My grandfather used to watch it when we were over for dinner. My I remember did. it being on the television. Yeah, I remember every house. time I looked over, my eyes glazed over. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, right. it's Chuck Norris, whatever. Well, last two things. He's mm-hmm. a master bull rider. He might be gay with his partner because they make a lot of, like, oh, I bet you haven't taken me out for dinner lately. Like, haha. And Walker's just like, yep. And then they're... Yeah, but it's yeah, it's very much like not a joke. Like, yeah, you haven't taken me out for dinner. Are we gonna go to dinner? When's that, when's that happening? It's now like what the up. fuck? Uh, n- nothing it's wrong with it, but it's no, funny. It's um, like it's certainly no Dulé Hill and the guy, the uh, the white the guy, other, from, the, yeah. the guy from Psych. I want to call him Sean, but that was his name in Dulé show. Hill right. and the guy from Psych. Yeah, Sean and Gus from Psych. There we go. And uh, last fun fact, or maybe not fun fact. Um, Chuck Norris, look at his upper lip. <laughs> the space between his nose and his upper lip is incredible. <laughs> his beard vast. hides it, but once you notice it, it's you, very can, vast. you can't unnotice it. <laughs> I'm going to find a picture while they you guys talk about whatever. The f- right, but that I think that's why he has the beard, uh-huh. because the space is like incredible. <laughs> It's like a five head, but for your upper lip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's between where your lip is and where your nose is. Yeah. My it's God. not even like the actual lip. <laughs> Chuck Norris has six abs on his face. That's, <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, before we move on to that, I also before we move on to Leatherface, I had forgotten all about the like early to mid 2000s the with the Chuck Norris facts. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I just want to say Ian Spector, the guy who started it, Fuck you. That was the worst time in comedy. It was Chuck Norris facts. I don't know. Chuck Norris can punch you and alter your DNA. Like I was also gonna bring I hate that. Like some of those. You were liked good. it at the time. I did I never liked it. Some of them are just, good to this day. It was day. just people trying to like one up with it and it would I, I well, mostly yeah, dealt with a bunch fast, of but... not professionals. If Twitter was around when Chuck Norris facts were happening, it would have been a gold mine. Yeah, me, the meme culture would have worked best for that, but yeah. you know, it was a bit ahead of the game. Yeah, for oh, sure. Colin's, Colin's showing Colin's us. Show he's actually showing us the yeah, picture. Yeah, he's showing me the picture. <laughs> that oh, is fierce. Everyone, while you're listening, take it's, this moment to Google a picture it's, of It's Chuck hard because his beard kind of covers it up, but if you imagine that that mustache isn't gone, there, yeah. it's like, holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah. And I couldn't stop looking at it. He also has an American flag behind him because that's fucking Chuck uh, Obviously. Um, yeah, dude, the intro is just, like, him standing, to the show, it's just, like, him standing with a shotgun. Nice. And, like, a duster. A shotgun that he never uses, because he has that small he little He has that pistol. little baby pistol, yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, that I just wanted to shout out that guy specifically who created it. He did a terrible thing. <laughs> and uh, You guys just want to watch the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny? Uh, I watched that, like, no joke, like, three weeks ago. I just remember <laughs> it popped into my brain. I was like, I'll watch that shit. Yeah. And I wonder like, if the internet knows who the sub like the sub suspect zero was with the Chuck Norris thing. I mean, it was Ian Spector. I looked it up. He started. I thought it. you said like the phrase Inspector, oh. which I thought oh. the movie Spector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, your timeline is way off. Those, yeah, those I just memes... let you kept going, but you know, no, I was no, confused. no. We know his name. Man. We know the criminal in charge. Jesus He's Christ. probably from Texas too. He probably all the, all the criminals <laughs> are <Fuck>. from there. <laughs> All right, He's probably Leatherface. <laughs> Why don't you guys tell us about Leatherface and his uh, evil family? I yeah. think you mean Jedediah Sawyer or Sawyer. Thomas Hewitt, uh, yeah, Whichever. or Leatherface, Whichever, yeah. <laughs> or Leatherface Edgeen. is the best one. I still don't understand why they switched the names. Like, who fucking I don't cares? Fucking know, I, don't, man. I don't know either. It was dumb. But either they, way, Joey. Oh, call him? Also, oh, sorry. Go ahead. So I was just saying, do they call him Leatherface in the first film, like the original? I don't think they I, ever they, call him. In Leatherface. the second one, they definitely do. Well, just say I'm just Which saying like second mm, one, the the second movie that came out in like 1986. <laughs> okay, so the very first movie, he was like a villain with no name. Correct. There yeah. was no name. Wow. It was pretty much for anybody. He like just the, popped around corners and hit people with mallets, and it was fucking scary. That was back in the Ooh. day when that shit was good, in my opinion. Ooh. Yeah. Why don't you guys start by telling us which Joey four like movies you really both watched? Because I'm interested to know. So I watched. The remake, the 2003 remake with Jay Beal. Jay shout Beale. out, yeah, shout yeah, out, yeah, shout yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. She you know was Justin so was on wet set. in that movie. They <laughs> <laughs> wet shirt. Not only yes, are they and in a, co- in a cooler or whatever. Like, not only are they the sweatiest people in fucking existence Texas in that hot, movie. The, the heat is uh, bigger there. Then right. she like gets rained on. She gets like a bucket of water dumped on her and then she gets rained on and it's just like the wettest. Instead of chainsawing her, Leatherface just yeah. dumps a bucket of water yeah, on her. Yeah, pretty much. Wet so I watched well, the remake. She's okay. not going to get naked so we're just going to keep spraying her with a hose. <laughs> yeah. We're getting away that contract. Yeah. Oh, no, you're home. We'll fucking figure that out. So I only knew of the remake, the prequel to the remake, remake and the originals i had no fucking idea that there were eight of these movies yeah, eight 3d movies. and then also leatherface eight of these movies so i watched the pre the remake the prequel remake mm-hmm. texas chainsaw 3d which is a sequel to the original movie Whoa. cutting out the remake and the remake prequel Whoa. and then <laughs> cutting out the second original movie yes yeah. what the they fuck? halloweened it oh, they did yeah. this cool. with halloween cool. recently yeah. So yeah, they that and then I watched Leatherface. Okay, that's so we, really interesting. We kind of watched almost the same opposite movies. And I, yeah. Neither one of us watched the Next Generation, but I watched Which is one, the third, the fourth one. So There's I watched a fourth. One. Yeah. yeah. So okay, audience. There's nine let's, of them. Let's get the timeline down. It goes one, two, three. The Next Generation remake beginning 3D Leatherface. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I watched one, two, three, and Leatherface. You watched remake. You beginning. watched Leatherface. Uh, one, yeah. two, three, and Leatherface. Yeah, the new one. It was, Which was not good. Oh, my God. No, it's just like, hey, instead of this hulking mask, what about a young, good-looking boy? So why not start there? Why? Start there, because that's chronologically where it all it starts. It really does. It we got uh, further back. We got Jed Sawyer, who is played by, a, I think his name is like Sam... Sam Strike. 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 Fucking like a Street Fighter name. Whatever. <laughs> he He's is, apparently going to be the new Roland in the... Uh, Dark Tower TV series that's never oh, going to happen. Man. I was okay. hoping you were going to say the Jumper reboot. That's what I also <laughs> thought you were going to say Jumper reboot. It was so confusing that okay, so at the beginning of the movie he's a boy and it's happy birthday dear Leatherface or whatever <laughs> and he can't he's a okay kid I guess and eventually he murders the, the family the Sawyer family murders someone because spoiler alert that's what they do and then this one guy played by uh, what's his name Stephen Dorff I think yeah. oh Stephen Dorff just Dorf hates is there. everybody. He comes in. The dwarfster. We got he him. He dwarfs it up, man. So they kidnap uh, Jed, who's like eight years old or something at that point in time, and take him to a mental asylum because crazy. Mm-hmm. Because his family's crazy. Exa- it right. kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so then 10 years later, as the movie tells you, uh, he's kind of hanging out. And when I saw the movie, Joey, I thought the big hulking mask guy I was going to be. I think that's what they were trying to do. Mislead you? Yeah. There was this big hulking mask that barely spoke. His name was Bud. It's, mm-hmm. I, I call him totally not Leatherface, but he's pretty much just Michael Myers from Halloween. <laughs> right. He's kind of like Michael Myers. And yeah, so they, they're they in the crazy house or whatever, and I can say crazy house because I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> they're in the crazy house. He, uh, Jackson, 
Leatherface is now called yeah, Jackson. Called Jackson yeah. for a reason. This I think was the bait and switch. And so they break out with two other uh, crazy people. Right. It's called uh, I forget the names. Ike the, and Clarice. I, I, there you go. Ike and Clarice. <laughs> Very important information. Uh, and they get held hostage by Ike and Clarice. And taken on a road trip. And the nurse, Elizabeth, <laughs> the gets nurse. kidnapped. Because the nurse is the hottest one there. So why oh not kidnap God. her? Question And mark. then, yeah, you're trying to figure out who Leatherface is. I was so confused by this garbage film that was made by DirecTV. That's why I've never heard of it. Oh, okay. Uh, it got shelved by Lionsgate. They're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so like, what if Leatherface was like a mentally competent guy? Good looking just, like, dude. Like, yeah. It's worse no than the Joker cares? movie. Like, like yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? And uh, so, yeah. Eventually, Steven Dorff hunts everyone down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's, uh, Leatherface and the nurse are escaping. And Steven Dorff shoots him like 50 cent style. Yeah. But blows apart his face, basically. Yeah, they're in a car, and then one of the bullets goes through the windshield and just fucking cuts his face open big time. Yeah. So that, but then, uh, he, I don't care. His mom fucking sews his face yeah, back together and enough. basically puts a muzzle on him. Mm-hmm. And they still leather have the straps, by the <laughs> way. Leather straps. Ooh, they leather. Straps. It's almost like he's got leather on his face. Yeah. Fuck you. Crazy. And then the, the nurse is still alive, but they send Leatherface after. He's just like, your mom's crazy. So he cuts it, his, her head off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the beginning of the movie, he can't do it. And then this, this is, oh, well, you're bookending it. Great. So I'm watching it going, I hope, Le- can Leatherface do it this time? And not only does he does it, but yeah, he fucking just swings and cuts that woman's fucking head off. So that's <laughs> the canon that they've left this right. movie in. So this yeah. guy, he's pretty mentally competent and normal. And otherwise, I guess you get shot in the face once and you become Leatherface. Right. That's how that works. Yeah. It's like, yeah. this is one of those like darkest... Uh, like craziest dudes ever who mm-hmm. like sews people's faces together and puts them on his that's how he that's his origin story it yeah could, it yeah. couldn't have been more like chill basically it, it, like d- nothing it really involves him at all like things happen to him the whole movie and then he's like you know what been thinking about that leather face thing think i might do it like what <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about yeah and he puts a, a leather face on his face at the end of the movie and he's he's leather face now but the next yeah. movie is going to be How Leatherface Becomes Joker, which is a big controversy, apparently. Leatherface Becoming Joker. Drug it up. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Leatherface like is an insult, yeah. I, I didn't fucking watch the original because I remember watching it, and he, yeah, he just hits, a, he hits kids with mallets. But it's awesome. Yeah, dude, it's actually really good. <laughs> it's like, I watched it, and it's brilliant. And the reason why it's brilliant is because you don't see Leatherface that much. Like, he shows up out of nowhere. He fucking bludgeons you with a h- hammer. He hangs you up on a hook. You don't see the blood. You don't see anything. All you hear is the scary music, and you see this fucking guy for half a second, and you're like, who the, who the, who the fuck is this right. guy? Answering that question ruins Leatherface, yeah. which is why Leatherface, the movie, is terrible. Why is he using a hammer if it's called the Texas chains well, he fucking he gets it. to it he gets the chainsaw <laughs> so uh the remake is pretty close to the original but modified like you know modernized a lot more yeah. gore and stuff like that yeah the beginning like the prequel is the same fucking movie yeah it is. like beat for beat the same movie. Yeah, i do. couldn't believe it the only thing that's different is you find out how he beca- the one guy becomes a sheriff he kills yeah yeah they, the they explain like oh leatherface worked at a uh, meat processing plant and so he like yeah he was a butcher it. <laughs> and it's just like Ooh. Get it? and then yeah arlie army kills the sheriff after the town dies after the meat plant closes everyone just Whoa, leaves man. they got arlie army back yeah, yeah he's in both yeah, he's in both movies he's in wow. the, the remake and the prequel mm-hmm. and then oh my god texas chainsaw 3d i have to talk about this all right because again, the they're they're fucking answering that question. Like they're 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 digging holes where you don't need to dig <laughs> any holes. You figure out that nothing's there. Right. So it literally takes place directly after the first movie. Like okay. he's the, like waving the chainsaw around and then he walks home. So yes, what year? The, you got the a year beginning. I I don't know the years, but the beginning, like the the title sequence, is the events of the first movie, nineteen seventy four. Okay. And then it. Uh, has a cop pull up to the house and they're like, we know he's in there. Like it's like immediately after Right. it's like, he went home and the cops pull up and it's like, we know he's in there, 
bring him out and it's a standoff between the Sawyer family and the one cop but then the townsfolk show up <laughs> what where's the rest of the police and burn down the house okay. oh it's like Freddy Krueger now yeah Ooh. yeah. they burn down the house and at, they're like going through the smoldering remains afterwards the cops just like you guys shouldn't have done this <laughs> this vigilante mob justice and uh, these two uh, hillbillies find the mother and a child like sitting there like outside of the house and it's just she's like help me and then the the guy takes the baby goes here you go barren wife here's a baby nice and then kicks the mother to death Ooh, okay okay and very important because the movie makes sure you know they all have the sawyer necklace like ah. a family crest ne- yeah. like superman it's a rush logo <laughs> <laughs> it's just an s and <laughs> So it means then hope. It cuts, <laughs> and it's uh, Alexandra Daddario. Yeah, you know no, that oh, is? it's her. Yeah. True She's detective pretty, girl. Yeah, yeah. Pretty hot. In my double Super wide, hot. this symbol means hope. And as soon as you cut to her, you're like, yeah, she's the <laughs> she's the relative. I yeah, get it. she's the relative. She gets a dusty-ass deed and <laughs> that she inherited her grandma's house. Yeah. So this movie could not help itself. She was already going on a road trip with her friends. <laughs> and then they're like, let's just stop off in Newt, Texas yeah. to, to figure this out. And then Doug Dimmadome shows up mm-hmm. and hands her. It's just like, here are the keys to the house. Here are all the assets. You get this house. You did we it. We burned no it down a long time ago. <laughs> Turns out Leatherface is in another elaborate basement dungeon. Yeah. Always under an elaborate that house. basement dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> so he kills everybody, all of her friends. She escapes, goes to a... No, the cops find her yeah. because it's another like the no, it's the mayor, the fucking mayor of the town. Just the like m- we need to eradicate the Sawyer <laughs> blood, <laughs> and it's just like what are you talking about? So they capture uh, Daddario, take her to a meat processing plant, like cops do, like cops do. String her up. It's Scott Eastwood actually yeah. is the cop, uh, <laughs> the uh, Paul Walker replacement right. in the Fast and Furious franchise. String her up, but not before. Fucking up her shirt so her tits are like mostly hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. So strings are up and then Leatherface shows up. It was and a he's trip. gonna kill her, but then he sees the emblem that was burned into her chest by her mom's necklace. Mm-hmm. And so and he he, says, Hope. he helps her. <laughs> and Why then did you say that? Hey, and, Martha! And, then, <laughs> and then right after Leatherface uh cuts her loose. He gets fucking dunked on by the mayor and the cop. They just like beat him with two by fours and stuff. It's like walking tall. And they, they, they like chain him up and they're like pulling him towards a meat grinder. Like and then just murdered him. Daddario comes back and throws him the chainsaw, yeah. Leatherface, and goes, Do your thing, cuz. Yikes. What the fuck? Yikes. And then so he, <laughs> he cuts himself loose and kills the dudes. And then. It, like she got a letter at the beginning of the movie she opens the letter and it's just like I leave all my earthly possessions to you just so you know your cousin Leatherface lives in the basement <laughs> he'll take, protect you hashtag Leatherface as horrifying. long as you take care of him and then it's just like it ends with it's your turn now and it's Daddario standing up at the top of the stairs with like a plate of food mm-hmm. and it's just like it ends yeah, <laughs> that was the okay. sequel. T- <laughs> I gotta say, I have to say, Joey. Yeah, if you were a hulking mass of a man mm-hmm. you know, that couldn't talk and murdered people with a chainsaw and hung out in your basement all the time, I probably would let the mayor get you. Like, <laughs> no way <laughs> yeah. am I like okay. I got, yeah, he's family. I gotta take it, care of. It was him. a very quick turn because the parents never told Dario about. Uh, where she came from right. so she was just like oh my god the town murdered my family don't they show up at the end to like get money from her and then leatherface kills them too who yeah it's like the after the parents or there's an after credits because like, it was 2013 so everything needed okay. an after credits right man yeah so it, yeah if any of my family or any of you guys turn into a like get shot by a bullet and turn into a hulking mass that can't talk but like cuts people up and hangs them on meat hooks i'm not hanging out with you okay but, right. but what if the mayor burned the rest of your family right they probably well, suck what if 
What if the mayor uh, <laughs> strings you up and cuts up your shirt so your titties kind of hang out? Yeah, a little that's, bit? that's 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 crossing and the line. He's about to kill you. I mean, and then Joey I get comes that and part. saves me. Like, oh, as what? soon as they're done with this guy, they're just gonna kill me again. I guess that's true in that exact scenario. But like, I would I'm like, gonna die, so I'm gonna team up with the dude who's definitely gonna kill right. all these dudes. Well, you team up in that moment, then you're like, oh yeah, cuz uh, you meet you back at the house. Slowly and raising like, a gun behind him. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's well, a mice no, yeah, and like, meat face. Hey, I'm gonna stop at the grocery store for more raw meat. What do you eat? Do you eat the people? Anyway, I'll get Cheez Its. And then you just drive to Delaware. Like, fuck right. this shit. Yeah, you team up with him for a second. And then you're like, hey, just wait for me back at the house. Be there soon. You lock the giant old timey door and yeah. you leave. Yeah. <laughs> the, the reason why I brought up the year, Joey, is because I watched the first couple of movies, which kind of follow this continuity, which is a, what you said makes no fucking sense now, even though it's a sequel to the first one. So the first one, the, it all happens, whatever. The second movie happens in 1986, and there's, there's a scroll, very Star wars s that it explains <laughs> that even though Sally, who's the girl who lives at the end, is rescued by two people who happen to swing by, and both these people see Leatherface doing his Joker dance with yeah. a chainsaw, even though all that happens, the scroll tells you, well... Sally was, you know, she she had some crazy story about this family eating people, and the police searched for it, searched for this house, the same house that five random fucking kids found, <laughs> yeah. and they couldn't find it. And yeah, there was no, no Sally evidence. went to the fucking cops and narked, yeah. and then the cops showed up. Yeah, and then they couldn't find anything, so they pretty much was like, oh, I guess it's just some weird conspiracy. Mm-hmm. So, like, the second movie, all, like, Dennis Hopper, which, by the way, I gotta mention Dennis Hopper, who's the most so badass, he's so badass, guess how many chainsaws he has in the final scene of the movie? How guess. many? Guess. Six. Two. Nope. It's two. Three. It's three. <laughs> That's the wrong number. <laughs> it's too many. He has one chainsaw in his hand and two chainsaws in sheaths. On either side of him, can oh, you wow. imagine it's the kind of belt that you'd have to wear? <laughs> it's a big right. belt, and like here's like a scene where he's grabbing the fucking chainsaws at the end of the movie, and like he's no guns, fuck guns, fucking guns are for posers. Get those chainsaws <laughs> right. out right. and call him for backup. No, he's pretty much Chuck Norris, but Dennis Hopper. So anyway, the second movie is like everyone's <laughs> talking about. He's even. So the opening scene is like there's a, a guy driving and then Leatherface shows up in a truck next to him and like they're pretty much like <laughs> right next to each other like this, <laughs> you know, like riding side by side yeah. and Leatherface is on top of the truck like it's fucking Grindhouse or something <laughs> and trying to like get this guy and they're not ramming into him. They're just freaking out. Meanwhile, they're on the radio with this girl named Stretch who's like the new Sally or the okay. Jessica Biel of the movie and this is all being recorded hilariously. And then Leatherface cuts this guy's head open with yeah, a chainsaw. It's a very good kill. They crash into a uh, you know off the highway or whatever. And a then Dennis, meat factory. <laughs> and then dying, oh my god, it just says meat factory. And then Dennis Hopper shows up, who is the uncle to Sally and Franklin from the first movie. So okay. he's got a vendetta. Mm-hmm. And then a sheriff comes up and goes, "Dennis Hopper, what are you doing here?" Lefty is his name, and he's like, "Oh, you know, I'm investigating these murders." He's like, what are you talking about? Just an accident. It's pretty much the movie Hot Fuzz. Like, yeah. it's just an accident. We can't be walking around talking about these chainsaw murders. And Dennis Hopper is like, "Well, um, uh, no, I'm going to investigate this." And then he like plays it. He gets the tape played at the fucking DJ station, where then fucking stretch shows, stretches the woman. She plays it, and Leatherface shows up, and, and then it gets real creepy because Leatherface thinks stretches his girlfriend and stuff. Nice, like that. Oh, nice. It gets man. really weird. But the point is. All this stuff where the cops go and do things, none of that happened, apparently, according to the second movie, because they couldn't <laughs> fucking figure it out. And then no. in the third movie, they retcon that immediately. They say yeah. that, oh, well, some we, they, they caught some guy, and he was <laughs> executed and stuff. And I'm like sitting here going, I just watched the second movie 30 minutes ago. Right. This is all horse shit. Uh, what are you talking that was, about? Sw- that was suede face. <laughs> and also, <laughs> Dennis Hopper has a chainsaw. He's like the fancier version. Like... <laughs> He, he wears like a bow tie, so but he still cuts <laughs> right. people in half. <laughs> right, uh, but he, maybe he's got like fancy cheese wire. And he's oh. like, oh, get over here, get over here, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> no suede face, please. <laughs> Dennis so Hopper sorry. has his chainsaws, which of course, if you're... If you're, if you're behind, that obviously means there's a duel between Dennis Hopper and Leatherface. Chainsaw right. v. Chainsaw. Yes. It's awesome. Dennis Hopper wins. But then Drayton... I mean, dad, I played Gears of War. Yeah, it's I the same thing. Yeah, yeah, press fights. the button and yeah. it's crazy. And then um, Drayton, who's the who's the father, uh, he, has, he pulls a grenade out and says, Well, I guess it's time to go out of business because this movie's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> and this blows everything up. Nice. 
But then, of course, other faces in the second, the next movie, what? which is another. But he point. died. Hey, you shut up. So Viggo Mortensen's a bad guy in the Whoa. third movie. Oh my yeah, God. And that's oh. another thing about this movie. First movie kills some people, then the second movie introduces whole new people, like yeah. Chop Top and all these people you've never met before because we got to keep that cast up. Raindrop. They get murdered. Chop Top. <laughs> and then in the third movie, there's Viggo Mortensen, named Tex, never met him before. You there's, cannot wield it. <laughs> there's this other guy whose name, uh, Alfredo is his name. I'm not fucking kidding you. And then there's this other guy the named like, Victor. Texas name. There's a mama. There's a mama now. There's a little girl, and when like, the person walks into the th- in the third movie, like she co- she runs away from Leatherface and goes into the house, which is how everyone goes into the house. They're running away from Leatherface, right? And she sees this girl at the top of the stairs who's holding a skeleton doll. Oh, I don't I mean like you know a, a cute skeleton. I mean like yeah. a skeleton of a baby, okay. which is dressed as a doll. Oh, okay. And guess what she thinks to do? I'll follow that girl upstairs. Why not? And then yeah. you know she gets fucking captured. It's, it's this family, the Sawyer family. Where are these people coming from? <laughs> yeah. This They're backwoods fam- incest yeah. motherfuckers. You got a big we didn't really get fight. around to it. Cha- uh, Leatherface loves his meat hooks. He loves his mallets. Yep, he's, he's really good at just like coming up behind you with a mallet. He's so he's the best at surprise. He gets into places that logically doesn't make sense. Like how do you get? Th- how did you get there? It doesn't yeah. make sense. How did you get in the back of that car at the yeah. end of the beginning? How right. did you get into the, the, the vinyl <laughs> record room of that DJ place? Because I, I know where the entrance is, and you've been there the whole time. <laughs> so where it's did like you come Nick from? Fury. Where yeah. did you go? Yeah. Where did you come from? All right. I've given you guys plenty of time so to much. talk yeah, about sorry. this There's a lot to discuss. Holy shit. I will say they were all a breezy one and a half hours. That's <laughs> the best part of it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about this fight. Okay. We're in Texas. We know that already. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's very like Friday the 13th versus Friday. Sort of. Uh, well, come on, guys. Are we in Dallas? Are we in Austin? San Antonio? <laughs> the, the woods. <laughs> yeah, the woods is the most accurate thing. <laughs> We're on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a car. So obviously this fight creates itself, right? Like they're like the so- the cops in, in New are like the Sawyer or the Hewitt family. Is there are they are they two different families? There could feasibly be two crazy families. Let's say it's a Sawyer family. Okay. Yeah. They, we've tried Dennis Hopper, we tried Steven Dorff, we tried Arlie Ermey, turns out he was lying to us the whole time. <laughs> right. uh, turns out he was never a cop. Now, yeah. <laughs> he's just a murderer. <laughs> now, we need Cordell Walker. Right. Maybe his sidekick slash partner, but sidekick. That's not the right. I didn't watch Law and Order. I didn't watch Law and Order. order. What's <laughs> some like I didn't watch patriotic a music? Frame. Maybe there's an eagle sound that happens in the background, hmm. sort of thing. We'll Probably an we, American flag. We need the Texas Rangers to come down and take care of this fucking family. Yeah. All these teenagers that are taking road trips through this giant state keep getting murdered. It yeah. is a problem. <laughs> that last stop We've gas covered station. it up, uncovered it, Chuck burnt Nor- it. Yeah, Chuck like, Norris, they have chainsaws, and so he dons a denim jacket. He, absolutely. <laughs> That's how he's going to save himself. <laughs> and some just the bluest of blue jeans. He's just one color. All right. One fabric. I think one mustache. I think he, yeah. he whips one out the black cowboy hat for this one. Oh, he's going black yeah. hat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's like cracking his knuckles like, I'm going to have to karate the fuck out of this guy. And then his car pulls up and hits a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think that's spot number one, Joe. You're right. They're like, yeah, okay, nice. they said that the problems arise on the side of the highway a lot. So let's just patrol and boom. Yeah, several bear traps. Right, so then they pull the horse out of the back of the truck because they just happen to have a horse. Yeah. (laughs) That actually does happen a couple times where um, they don't have a horse, but like, oh, no, my car crashed and the bad guys are getting away. And it's like, oh, look, there's a, a truck with a horse trailer that also crashed. And then he's like... You're a Texas Ranger? Well, here, you take a silver and <laughs> you just won yourself him. one horse. Yeah. I imagine I, I imagine it like the climactic battle of Transformers 3. Okay. Where they pull up the truck and it has all of Optimus's gear. Yeah. He didn't need to be geared up at the beginning, but in the middle he did. Yeah. So we it's feel just like if like, you're losing, we'll bring your gear truck. <laughs> he gets up. bear trapped and then somebody pulls up and just like dun 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 dun. Yeah. It's just a horse trailer. Yeah, it's the it's the like New York cop version where like the New York cop like stops a car and's like, I need this, I'm a oh, cop. You mean the true lies thing where yeah. Schwarzenegger gets on a horse, yeah. Yeah. Or do you think it's like that scene in Civil War where Bucky 
takes the dude off their motorcycle and in one fell swoop gets on the motorcycle going the other yes. way. Yeah. So there's so, a dude yeah, the riding the horse. So yeah, the trap happens. <laughs> Chuck Norris like jumps out the side window and like grabs him. <laughs> Which and, like, is unnecessary. Throws but... the horse over his shoulder and like starts going right. the other way. And then there's an explosion behind him in yeah. slow motion. There's an egregious <laughs> amount of slow motion in Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh my god. Meanwhile, so Leatherface is just making more slowly. bone effigies. Yeah, stuff. he got like, you know, the, 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 the kids from earlier and yeah, and he got Leatherface kind of minds his own business for the most part. Yeah, so, and it's you know. when people come bother him, just exactly. like Chuck Norris is about to do. Yeah, yeah. which is bad for right. Chuck Norris. They've got noses that need to be broken, and he's coming in. <laughs> he's coming in, in to break their noses. Several yeah. continuities. He doesn't have a nose. Yeah. Whoa. That's, Whoa. Oh my god. One step ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I went ahead and got rid of that nose. So you can't break it. He's got oh, a goo wow. face. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think him and Trevette probably, like, roll up to this house. Yeah, the, absolutely the cops they the, do. What's going to happen, like, though, is the Sawyer family was going to charm them because they was like, oh, we're just poor butchers. You are making the world's greatest chili. Well, Not made with people, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Fucking put that out of your mind we right saw now. We saw that South Park episode. It was yucky. It was yucky. <laughs> we would never dark. do that. Yeah. Gross. I agree, ma'am. It was pretty yucky. <laughs> but without chili, I, I people w- come I, first. I, I well, what do you know. mean by that? I don't watch such profane things. Right. <laughs> I'm all about being a, a plain he, No, he'd say something man. stupid like, I haven't owned a television in <laughs> my whole life. I Nature is my television. <laughs> uh, nature is where I find beauty in things. Oh, I'm just like, what the? <laughs> just kick somebody. <laughs> fuck. Well, thank you, sir, you for s- swinging so by. Oh, incredibly soft. <laughs> Is well, this a 30 minute episode or an hour long episode? Oh, these are fucking 45 Ooh. minute episodes. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that's nice. why he's talking about oh. nature as yes. television. <laughs> yeah, yes. We have to fill it with the long, weird pauses that Chuck Norris has in between his sentences. Yep. Oh, like Kingdom Hearts 3 and he's like other Japanese video games. It's <laughs> just like Sure. That, that's where I was going to go. Yeah, like a th- there, I, I started playing a Jump Force and yeah, it goes to a cutscene and it's like Hey! Hello. And it's just like, fucking oh, Christ! <laughs> I want to punch things! No, it's, he's, I actually, he reminds me of, like, William Shatner, like, on Adderall. Like, way calm down. You mean yeah. like a normal actor? <laughs> no, he still has some of the mannerisms, but it's, like, n- not manic at all. Yeah. So like, I think the first thing that happens is, like, him and Trevette are there, but then the ghost of Jordana Brewster shows up to, like, warn him. Whoa, shout out, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't uh, yeah. think of anyone else who died. The, any of their names. All right, of these so let, let me run it through. You let don't me run need it through, to, man. We've talked Dude, a lot. We got about fake this. Peter Petrelli. We got small face. We got pretend Matthew McConaughey. That's All right, what I said. It's pretend Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> he's and he's a, like, hey, I'm pretend Matthew McConaughey. I'm part Apache. And Javel's like, what? What's happening? What's going on? And he's like, it's okay, partner. I'm part of bad. You're talking about the guy in in Leatherface, right? The guy who plays Drayton? No, I'm talking about uh, in the remake. Okay. Well, there's a guy in Leatherface in the movie who looks, I wrote down, fake Matthew. (laughs) Poor man's Matthew McConaughey. So the ghost of Jordana Brewster is like, you have to help me solve my murder. He's like, I did that already with another one. I'm not doing that. (laughs) And he's like, but I also have telekinetic ghost powers. And he's like, you know what? Okay. It's interesting. Trevette, why don't you walk in there by yourself with that nice old lady? I'm going to talk to this ghost girl. I'm going to talk to this telekinetic ghost. I've only seen this three times before. <laughs> Make sure there's not a bomb in there that's set for two minutes after we walk oh, in. They don't do that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, Trevette walks in with the mom, and then Leatherface just probably pops out and kills him with a hammer real fast. Yep. Yes. He opens the sliding door. Yeah. And- yeah. Which, that, by the way, you, he walked into a room where immediately, I just want to propose something. There's a fucking skull limit with houses. If you walk in and you see more than mm, three skulls, don't walk <laughs> into the house. There were 12 skulls in this movie. Just walk out. Just walk out immediately. <laughs> like in the landing room? Like, like in, in the, the foyer. Yeah. Yeah. You walk into the foyer and immediately there's like fucking 12 skulls on a shelf. Like it's a goddamn, like the mantelpiece right. of your house. Yeah, there's so yeah. many just like effigies of like, bones. He's like, you know what? <laughs> let's, let's check this out. That, remind, gets that reminds me of that South Park episode with the murderer that has all the hands on the wall, and they're just like, <laughs> oh, what's your name? God. <laughs> it's like, all right, yeah. Mr. God, well, there's nothing to see here. Let's go. There's, I mean, it's all animal skulls, but yeah. still. I like, get really confused around how, of this time of year, Halloween. 
uh, where I walk into people's houses and they have decorations. And I'm like, right. skulls! <laughs> and they and tell you they're God. And, <laughs> and, they're like, and my wife's like, Nick, this is your house. And I'm like, you're going to fucking chainsaw and me. And Nick's like, yes, I am. And if I walked into my own house and there were skulls I didn't expect, I'd still walk out of well, that yeah, house. Yeah, because you and live then, by yourself, so you should. Quinn That's a whole new problem. A yeah. tiny sliding door and it hits you with a rubber mallet. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, if Quinn came out a way smaller door and hit me with a rubber mallet to do a Texas chainsaw. She, com- riff? she comes out to Texas chains like chainsaw you, but a baby's chainsaw is just that little popper that you, you push like along. Fisher yeah. Price. It's like, like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> You're like, oh but she's got Spooky. like Yeah, but she's got like forks like taped to the front of it or something. Well yeah, she does have a real baby skeleton doll in her arms, and I'm like, I have to talk to your mother. Please excuse me. How she, did this she cut out a mole. A face in a moleskin notebook. <laughs> face. That's like, very good, it. honey. I get it. Good riff. Good riff. <laughs> That's his bone suede face. Yeah, but <laughs> sometimes you just disown your child. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm it's wet. cute. <laughs> we'll <have> to... <laughs> hey, you know what? There's nothing thicker than blood. Oh, you know okay. I mean? I the ca- salt is family. I carved this out of your journal, so now I'm wearing your thoughts. <laughs> All right, thanks, Quinn. Uh, anyway, hey, Blair, come here. I didn't know you could what talk yet, fuck? Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> this all sounds so really when bad. I, when I One left step this at morning, a time. She just said, "Mama and Dada." Uh, now she's making full-on threats. <laughs> she's saying vague things cute. like, "You'll see." <laughs> it's your time now. Oh. <laughs> She just tried to explain to me her thesis. <laughs> she just gave me a pot of chili that said, this is made with all heart. <laughs> she told me that <laughs> people come first. What? She told me that Bone Saw was ready, but she's never seen Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will have to say real quick, segue, um, that in one episode where Walker goes undercover in prison, he fights Macho Man Randy Savage. Absolutely. Oh, my oh gosh. Spider-Man connection. Yep. So Bone Saw is, in fact, always ready. Oh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> and he gets his nose broken. <laughs> <laughs> he beats him. And they're both two oily muscle men just ooh, going at it ooh. in a prison where it's like, did you guys have this like WWE cage set up already <laughs> yeah. for prison fights? It's a Texas prison, Nick. Yeah. Remember that? You're right. right. They've got to make face- some money. <laughs> In Leatherface, where uh, Leatherface fights Macho Man Randy Savage in the <laughs> mental asylum. <laughs> Equally good scene. He Go screamed on. Bone Saws ready, but then he saw everything behind Leatherface and shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then he grabbed the water fountain off the wall and threw it through the window yeah. and then jumped out to Bone freedom. Saw called an intermission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to walk away. Oh, oh, no. I have to go. <laughs> Elizabeth needs me. Or Kimberly. I'm going to give you an elbow drop that breaks your skull and the 12 other ones you got in your foyer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Foyer. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, so as soon as he realizes <laughs> that Trevette has been <laughs> captured and murdered, uh, I think Chuck he's Bull- probably on a meat hook downstairs. Yeah, yeah he's maybe he's not dead on a yet. Meat hook downstairs. No, yeah, he doesn't have to be dead. He's his just feet on the meat can hook. barely touch a piano that's yeah. in a dungeon that is constantly dripping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine the Bat Cave and Scorpion's Lair combined into one Whoa. thing. That's what that dungeon looks yeah. like. Okay, except above it is just a house. <laughs> <laughs> that's the twist. Yep. This is in a house. This is in a house. <laughs> So I, I think, just, yeah. and, and Chuck Norris is pretty fast to start throwing like scissor kicks at people. Yeah, yeah. all right, so, absolutely. Because he no repercussions ever. Right. So I, he's real fast. I think to do the it. whole family comes at him at once, and he just yeah. like machine gun punches each one of their noses. <laughs> yeah. That's what he goes for. He that's what he knows. Yeah, he does the machine punches, and then he definitely spin kicks. So I think spin from the outside. The grandma. <laughs> You're seeing a couple of Sawyer members fly out of the window. Yeah. Their noses are, in fact, broken. Some of them are old. Some of them are dumpster children. Yeah. You know? <laughs> some of them are already dead. Yeah. <laughs> he just kicks them anyway. <laughs> he kicks all the skulls just to be sure. He's like, I don't know. This could be a creepy skeleton scenario. I have no idea. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, like anything could happen maybe in this he's, weird place. Maybe he's punching their ghosts. Yeah. I don't know. He can He can commune with ghosts. Yeah. Because he's uh, in a half Apache. Yeah, jump yeah, on him. He needs you to know that. He <laughs> keeps telling them that too. He's like, "You can't get me. I'm half Apache." He says, "I'm not just some white like, oh. college dude." Like, 
<laughs> have Apache. I don't. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay. Is that is this like a hate crime or like? <laughs> but you have a red hair. I'm confused. <laughs> you are literally wearing an American flag. <laughs> And yet it's somehow blue jeans at the same time? I don't, uh... It's like a hologram. <laughs> they look at his gun. They're like, the little girl we keep upstairs has a bigger gun than that idiot. Damn. <laughs> yeah. The skeleton doll has a bigger gun, too. And so he starts <laughs> fixing their noses and then, like, re-breaking them. Yes, he keeps put, pulling their nose, pulling them down by their nose. I keep wanting him to say, got your nose. When he grabs their noses. He never does. Well, I think it happens uh, when he finally reaches up into that Leatherface mask and, and pulls out a nose. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're getting ahead he, of ourselves. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's even on Leatherface. He's just fighting the family. Leatherface no. is downstairs he, preparing yeah. for vet. Oh, okay. No, Le- Leatherface is looking through the swivel peephole. Mm-hmm. It's on a swivel like an eyeball, so he can look in multiple directions. Wow, for a guy who's like not all there... <laughs> Pretty fucking smart, man. Did you watch Leatherface? He's pretty smart. I <laughs> I couldn't make... Th- I'm a fully capable human man that's not a psychopath, I guess. Do I have empathy? I don't know. You tell me. Right. Uh, I-, I couldn't make a swivel hole. <laughs> so you house. don't have empathy. <laughs> or you do? I forget it. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think the big turning point is he's he's kicking all these family members. No one's coming to like... no. No one's recording this on their phone or anything. I know it's 2019, but like, <laughs> and, and it, it's all going in his favor until Leatherface comes upstairs wearing Trevette's face yeah. for a face. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Like, that's where. Right. That's, and then that's where he thinks it's Trevette. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you like got sick. a lot musclier, Trevette. <laughs> hey, Trevette, you're here. Great. Uh, start, <laughs> yeah. start breaking their noses. <laughs> right. I love the old lady wig and the makeup. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there a pool cue around you could break in half and start fighting these guys? No, with? he's going to say something. Why do you have lipstick on? <laughs> no, the stakes are always like real. They're real high, but real low at the same time in Walker, Texas. Ranger. Yeah. So he's going to come out and instead of being horrified, he's going to say something corny. Just like, come on, Trevette. Now's not the time for playing dress up. Yes. There we go. <laughs> you nailed like, it, Colin. That's yeah. a practical joke and then you hear like the wah, wah. <laughs> and, <laughs> after, and after that you hear the start of a chainsaw and that's right. where we're gonna leave it Whoa. while we take this break Guys, before we get started, I just... Joey, could you step away for a second? I guess. Yeah, okay. we need to have yeah. a sidebar. Right. It's not about you, yeah. I promise. Yeah. I just right. need you. It's just not anything you need to know. Now okay. it's my turn to be included and Finally. not exiled. Yeah, right. man. You're part of the gang now. I didn't bring the spaghetti, but <laughs> hey. I'm I know. I'm still really upset about We're that. Still upset. Anyway, guys, did you happen to notice how many skulls Joey has around his house? I was going to... When I brought up the whole, like, there's a skull limit, hmm. I didn't want to bring it up, but yeah, he's, like, he right was, on the cusp. He's, like, he's one under. It's not, like, you know, excessive, right. but it's concerning. Just, I am a little worried. It's, like, like five skulls, which is... Yeah. Two is kind of pushing yeah. it. Yeah. I went into the room where Quinn hangs out when yeah. she's over here, and I saw a little skeleton doll and Whoa. i just like i didn't know that that was here they're like, all modeled shit. after samuel jackson joey <laughs> we asked you to step away oh, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry so anyway so yeah, he didn't yeah, hear uh, any of that i assume i assume he just came guys, back in that fresh. was a non sequitur yeah <laughs> he was talking about all these samuel jackson pictures he's he has always up. going on about it guys yeah. try stop eating the chili Oh, you ate some of the chili? Wait, please oh, put the chili I down, Colin. Well, it had chili. noodle. It had noodles in it, which I thought was spaghetti at first. So Guys, I oh. looked closely at it, and this is why I didn't eat it. It was just noodles and bones. Well, mm. like uh, I know you were saying it was crunchy, Colin. It wasn't al dente spaghetti. Those were just straight up bones. I just thought he didn't cook the spaghetti, which is yeah, why I know you thought that crunchy. You're still eating the chili, Colin. And I need you to put it down, man. But Nick, I hate to bring this up, and I, I talked to Colin about this, okay. and I'm not, not the sidebar. You, you can be included, but okay. do we know who brought the fucking skeleton doll over? Was it Joey, or was does Quinn have a skeleton? No, doll? no, no. I pack her bag every time she comes over. I would right. know if there was a fucking 
skeleton baby hey, doll. You know what? I brought it over. Joey asked me to bring it over. So you, you brought the skeleton doll. Did you also? Did he ask well, you to bring he, the skulls he over? He dropped it off. He said it, it needed to stay in the freezer for a while. Okay. To bring it Colin, over. hold on one second. Could you walk away? Corey, let's yeah, have a yeah, sidebar. Yeah, okay, so just... Yeah, yeah, a Nick, sidebar within the sidebar. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're even further removed. Inception style. I'm really worried about... My safety, my yeah. brother's sanity, my friend Colin's sanity at this Why point. Did you, like, are they I, working together? I feel like you brought me into a Leatherface murder house by inviting me to this podcast. I didn't know. Like, last week, none of this stuff was here. So, like, you know, you've seen no skulls in no, the past, like, fucking three no, years. I think something happened when Joe, I think something was awakened in Colin Is and one of Joey. those skulls Butler's skulls? I haven't seen him in, like, three weeks. Me neither. Guys. It's, yeah? Yeah. Oh, should sorry. I stop listening if there's a sidebar? No, no, yeah, yeah, what sidebar please, means, yeah. dude. And oh. stop eating the chili. We're oh, talking yeah. about chili now. Right. Anyway, I, I don't know how it's. Why are you Damn. still here? This is really Colin. failing. I feel like I asked co- nicely, Nick. And I don't know how the chili is so wet over there, Collins, yeah. because it's just bones and noodles. Yeah, there's no sauce, by the way. It's just literally white shit on the yeah, fucking like bowl. You can, it's yeah, like cereal I mean, with no milk. Yeah, and I can't believe you're calling it yeah. chili because it's absolutely not. It's macaroni and bones. I yeah. had Doug Dimma down hand Colin a dusty deed telling him his real birth name. You know, Nick, I can I have a sidebar with I'd myself? Love, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I hey, guys. Hey, shut up. Could Go someone ahead. please come to Joey's house and rescue me? Because I don't know where this is going to go. And I'm just by myself now. No one else is listening. And if I'm kind of scared. If you're anything like those teenagers, they'll never find it. Right. And this um, is why people always lose in Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Well, is that no, everyone's always listening. Corey, I'm, I hate to break it to you, but uh, your titty game is whack right now. I'm just saying. I don't know what that's in if, reference if to. That's t- kind of freaking t- me if out. If your titty game was on point, you know, you'd probably wow. be safe. One day you say one thing, and the next day you say another. Yeah, it's it's, 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 whatever fucking behooves you, isn't it, Colin? Well, that does Colin taste like their does seem hooves, a little yes. bit more Stephen Dorfy. Say yeah. his full name. It's Colin Potter. <laughs> oh God! You're one of us. Uh, Do you have a P on your chest engraved? Uh, I think so. Joey asked for a bunch of legal documents. And I gave them to him. No questions asked. <laughs> Why are you giving <laughs> him legal documents? He was distracted by the chili. I'm literally the yeah. one person in this room you should hand legal documents to. Oh man, well, I didn't think about that. You don't have any chili though. You don't uh, look like <laughs> Doug Demodome. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna ignore everything you guys are saying. I just wanted to. You know, We're I was concerned. concerned, but I'm not anymore. We're, I'm only concerned about finishing the podcast you're, you're not and then maybe I, walking out of this place. Running out of this yeah, place. Yeah, I feel like it, we just did a like comedy sketch that you would find on a record from like the <laughs> early 80s. <laughs> just like four guys hanging around, just making, them, making them funny stuff. <laughs> that was a Cranky Anchors episode. We just <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leatherface, leather is your refrigerator running? <laughs> oh, well, I, 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 I'm a puppet. <laughs> I think that's how they ended every sketch in Crank Yankers. I can't talk. <laughs> Go on. All right. We're going to ignore everything that's in Joey's house and the way Colin's acting, and we are going to finish this fight. So Chuck Norris stands before Leatherface in Jimmy Trevett's face. face. <laughs> with yeah, a he's face wearing within the a face. face. Yeah. He's wearing the face. Um, I think, And I think, yeah, at first he's just like, Hey, Trevette, you know, you find anything uh, funky down there? And then he just, like, gets knocked out. Like, yeah. You never hear anybody coming in these fucking movies. Exactly. It's, like, it's always, you know, a close-up shot and, like, a lot of weird pauses. And all of a sudden, boom, bludgeon to the skull. Yeah. Right. And I think that Chuck Norris, sorry, Walker, Texas Ranger, <laughs> wakes up at the dinner table, obviously. Whoa. Always. They it's- always end up at the dinner table. And, when, and Nick, I just want to... Emphasize whenever you say always, it's literally always <laughs> yeah. like it's always at the dinner table and they're freaking out and like going, Oh, <laughs> welcome. I think they're all a little bit sad, but you can also see that they've all put noses over their broken <laughs> noses. Yeah, like leather, they're trying leather, to still be spooky, but all their noses are in fact face broken. Provides, yeah, you know? he's a little, they're all a little right. embarrassed. They went to the nose cabinet and just pulled out a bunch of the extra ones, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sure he breaks them all down: ears, nose, mustache. They use everything, but I guess yeah, the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. That makes that's sense what that cause song's like, about. Because like they eat everything, but the face, they you know that's mm-hmm. that's cosmetic. So right, they keep that. Yes. Yep. How do you guys think a face tastes? Like they're. We can go down this road if you want, uh, Joey. Joey you ever but I feel suck like a face. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> sweaty. You're asking me more questions about this, Joey, making me believe that you. Uh, 
are becoming something. Yeah, you're like you're becoming the Joker. <laughs> uh, we'll just call this Joey Begins. Yeah, <laughs> or just Joey, starring Joaquin Phoenix. What do Joey. you guys think the best chainsaw is for your money right now? <laughs> Joey's furiously googling on his computer in front of us, showing us all. I, you know what, Joey? I wouldn't get one from Walmart. I feel like that would be a subpar product. Yeah. I feel like that you need to go to a special vendor for that. Oh wait, no, there he is outside. He's hanging up a bunch of bed sheets. Like he only has one bed. Where did he get all these sheets from? What's and happening? also, you They're have a washer white. and dryer. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know I don't why you're understand. taking the time to hang them up outside. Is this War of the Worlds? And it, <laughs> Joey, I'm going to keep ignoring your creepy questions and power through this, okay? He's at the dinner table. He wakes up. They're like, hey, do you want some chili? While you're eating that, we're going to hand Grandpa the hammer. Right, because they always hand... It's a weird thing where Grandpa is... like When you first see him in the first movie, you're like, well, that guy's dead. And he's like, no, he barely moves. And like, oh, Grandpa's one hit. He, he, don't worry about it. It's one hit. By the way, audience, it's never one hit. Mm-hmm. Don't ever believe the Sawyer family. <laughs> they lie and yeah. they eat people. Hey, Nick, <laughs> they, what's that chili smell like? I can't smell anything. Because <laughs> we don't have noses. They're all broken. <laughs> These are simply cosmetic noses. You fool. <laughs> but uh, Chuck is Norris is like, I'll salty? try some. I'll try some chili. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then he obviously sees like the fingers floating in it and stuff. That's it's just not... Wendy's. By the way, the chili with the fingers in it is a chili that also keeps winning best chili in <laughs> Texas for some reason. Like, you know, finger licking good. They yeah. don't understand what that word means, that phrase means. Like <laughs> They're like, it's really good. I don't know what you do. I can't quite put my finger, finger. Oh! on it. Whoa. Well done. Well done. I think they keep winning because everyone knows their secret and they're afraid. So they're just like, <laughs> you win again. <laughs> They actually really like the chili, so they're just like, let's not turn them in. And let's just <laughs> not admit that we, we look, eat people. Our town is a nightmare, <laughs> but we get chili once every once a year at this fest, so and it's really good. Ooh, I just had this visual of this fat Texan, okay. and instead of using Doug like, Dimmendome, yeah, Doug Dimmendome, <laughs> and instead of using a toothpick, he's got he's holding a finger and using the fingernail on that finger to clean out his teeth. Yeah. Oh okay. God. And he's just that's, like that's hmm. imagery that I would associate with the Texas Chainsaw Mask. <laughs> and Walker, Texas Ranger, for different reasons. <laughs> what are those reasons? I don't know. I was just making it up. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, eating chili. Yeah, he's eating the chili. But obviously, Walker, Texas Ranger, is a Western James Bond. Right. Mm. So you know he's gotten out of his restraints. And he just like flips that fucking table over and goes to town kicking again. Yep. He uh, eats a chili. Maybe he, even, he doesn't because he doesn't like want to do weird shit like eat chili with full, <laughs> made full of people. And he fucking flips his table over and the chili spills everywhere. And they're really mad about that because he spent so much time on that chili. Yeah. And they're not the kind of psychos that would eat it off the floor or anything. Yeah. That's weird. That's, <laughs> that's unsanitary. That's unsanitary. Well, he's mm. putting the chili in his mouth and then letting it kind of dribble out and then get down on his hands so that he's <laughs> he like looping up his, <laughs> his That's his what restraints. he did. You're right. What right. a genius. <laughs> yeah. And then he just starts breaking their extra noses. <laughs> <laughs> I like it better. Just the going other through, way. ripping all their noses off. He's trying to pull them to the ground with him, yeah. but they keep coming off. I liked it better the other way. And <laughs> yeah. Spin kicking fools. They're doing like triple flips out windows and stuff. When all of a sudden you see a close up on Chuck Norris's face and you hear a sound and his eyes go wide. Leatherface got him on a hook and just oh, fucking grabs whoa. his ass, takes him downstairs. That's his move. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. Hangs him up. The family's like, cool, you got him again, Thomas, or whatever your name is. Does <laughs> he have more names than Thomas? It's Je- Jebediah. Jebediah. Jebediah, yeah. Or Jackson. No, or or Jebediah. Leatherface. They call him at some point in time, they're like, Oh yeah, you're not you're not <laughs> Andy Sum or whatever his name is. You're Sting now. It's great. Gordon Summers, <laughs> this is his name. So I think that Leatherface puts him up on the on the hook rack, nice. thinking he's got him. Yeah. But the little does he know, Chuck Norris is taking bullets straight in the back. Yeah. He's, he's got, got a, no nerve. Yeah, he's got a bunch there. of scar tissue back yeah. there. It's all... Yeah, it's, it's like it's, Kevlar. Oh, shout out to me. Yeah, he's basically... <laughs> yeah, Joey has a super-powered back because he lost all feeling in it after his scoliosis <laughs> surgery. Kind of the same backstory. Right. <laughs> Are you Walker, Texas Ranger? 
Joey. So if somebody put you on a hook, Joey, would there be like sparks fly out because the rods <laughs> the in your rods? back? <laughs> yeah, it would. It's like a. It start like a fire. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Like a fire in your heart. A fire would escape. rise. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I think immediately, as soon as he puts him up on the hook, Chuck Norris uses extremely strong kicks, and he just like straight up kicks Leatherface into a hook across <laughs> <laughs> across the room from him. So it's just this awkward scene where they're both just kind of hanging. Yeah, like when you would hang up nerds in a like a locker. Yeah. Just, it's like Thor Ragnarok, but they keep turning yeah. and they can't keep talking to each other yeah. very well. Exactly. Right. Oh, one second. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, all right, sorry, you were saying? And I think that this is where they have a moment together, right? Chuck Norris always speaks softly and tries to bring the best out in people when he's not, like, fucking hammer-throwing them out of a window. Right, he's always motivating people yeah. and, like, talking about trying to do better for yourself mm-hmm. and not fall in with a round crowd. He's like, you've fallen in with a pretty rough crowd here, Leatherface. <laughs> They Think like about to, it. Like, yeah. All your fr- all your family, all they do is like feed you people and give you <laughs> shit. And like, you know you what's know. really good? A good old fashioned American hamburger <laughs> made with beef from cows and not people. <laughs> well, sometimes people. <laughs> <laughs> the industry is rife. It's <laughs> fraught with mismanagement. <laughs> with mismanagement, you've probably eaten part of it. Either way, before. I haven't seen any buns around here, so Have just you think had about a hot it. dog before. <laughs> yeah. Good old fashioned American hot dog. What's in those things? What do you say, I mean, you get out of here? Put and some ketchup, and some ice cream, and some mustard, and a little bit of justice. And the other face is very. <laughs> the whole crux of the whole series is that he's kind of a blank slate, I guess you would say. And his family is always like, well, you know, you should murder people and he, eat them. That's what he's makes He's an sense. attack dog. Yeah, he's a puppy who is taught what he's you know learned. Like he doesn't, he's not inherently evil. Question mark. Right. Big question mark. By right. the way, but let's go with it. And after like seventy two hours on that hook, you know, <laughs> yeah. the family that's just a thinks lot that he's downstairs, talk. just like preparing him. Right, he's just doing his weird shit with his makeup. Like we're so gonna get some old, tough fifty three year old man meat out of this <laughs> out of this Walker Texas Ranger fella. But yeah. <laughs> Three days hanging awkwardly <laughs> while Chuck Norris like talks him into being like right. fighting for justice. And then Chuck Norris just flexes and pushes himself up out of that hook. <laughs> and he's like, I could have done that any time. But I, I wanted, wanted to spend some time yeah. with you. Yeah. Do you think Leatherface sees Chuck Norris's like old man skin as another Leatherface? Oh! <laughs> so they're kind of one so it's of the leather same. Leather face and leathery face. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is late, this is late in the series, then you know. Yeah, yeah. In the 2000s it's that sure. TV movie you talked about. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's the second and his TV ar- movie. Their arch rival, Pleatherface. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But either way, hey. he gets. Maybe he actually gets the leather face because leather face is, like I said, very impressionable. And he's like, "Oh, mm-hmm. yes, quite indeed." I like the image of the family finally, like we're ready to eat Thomas or Jedediah or whatever. The leather. Why face. do you keep going to Thomas? Yeah, because they he's Thomas in one of them in is the he? remakes. I think uh, he's Thomas Hewitt. In the yeah, remakes. in the ones you didn't watch. Uh, that's why you don't understand. You're dumb because <laughs> you don't know what I know. And I think they come downstairs like, "What's going on down here?" Leatherface, <laughs> right? And, and then he Leatherface and, but, pops out of the room, and now he's in all denim. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's hanging up by his hook still, oh, okay. awkwardly in denim. And then out of the shadows, Chuck Norris kicks a chainsaw into one of them. <laughs> he doesn't pick it up and use it; he just kicks it. Kicks it. Yeah. Whoa. If he could have kicked bullets out of his gun in that show, he would have done it. <laughs> I don't need a gun. All I need are bullets. <laughs> he just tosses them up in the air and spin kicks them into people. Or oh, kicks them back. Oh, that'd be yeah. great. Uh, and yeah, I think that he just like like lightly kicks Leatherface up off of his hook, and they just go to town on his family. They're just yeah. done. Like Leatherface is like trying to be a good boy now and, and fight for justice. He's really into justice. Right. Yeah. And then, like before, he was into cannibalism and chopping people in half and stuff, but now he's into justice. Which. Arguably, is the opposite of justice is eating people and stuff. Yeah, it, it depends on where you're at. <laughs> there ain't nothing thicker than the American dream. 
<laughs> blood's thicker than water, but the American Dream's thicker than blood. <laughs> Justice is thicker than blood. <laughs> By the way, I actually have Apache blood, and I'd like to tell you about it. So. <laughs> that was like during the 72 hours. Yeah, I like. prepared this pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> tosses it to him while on the hook. Here's my ghost pal, and there's like... Trivet just walks in. Yeah, no, I was thinking like a ghost Indian like oh, okay. comes in, and uh, it's like some night weird... wolf. No, yeah, it's like some uh, like bad like insurance scam. Like, <laughs> like hey there, hi, uh, you know Cordell, my friend here tells me you want to learn about the Apache, <laughs> the Apache ways. Yeah. yeah, and then Leatherface learns, learns it all about it. Maybe he learns that because he's from Texas. Who knows? He might be Apache too. Isn't everybody kind yeah. of Apache? Nope, nope, no, nope. <laughs> they're not. You're right. I'm so but white for the sake of argument. <laughs> Isn't everybody a little bit of patchy? Sure. I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Honor. But watch yourself, Mr. Music. <laughs> oh, God. So, watch yeah. your face. Watch yourself, Leatherface. <laughs> yeah, so they just uh, just hack up this family. They don't eat them. Leatherface goes to start preparing them, and Chuck Nurse is like, no. He puts do the that apron anymore. on. He's like, you know what? We can, we can skip the meal. I've already what? eaten. <laughs> what? I've got something better in mind. And cut to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and Leatherface is like, this is basically the same. A Boom! Tr- tr- got you, McDonald's. Got him, dude. Coming for you. Fuck you, Chef Mike. All right, and then uh, the fry cook in the back's like putting his like necklace down in his shirt. He's just like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he walks out with a Big Mac on his face. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Well, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it. Yeah. It cuts to the intro titles of Walker, Texas Ranger, but now instead of any James Trevett, it's Leatherface with his face on. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's so, smiling. He's like trying to jump over the hood of cars. <laughs> he's just barreling in stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's it goes very poorly, but you know, Chuck Norris just God, what what you know what? He's got a lot of heart. I yeah. like him. It's great. Him and <laughs> Walker and Leatherface walk into like the DA's office and she just like screams like <laughs> ah! Oh my god, why? Freeze, yeah, freeze frame on her screaming. Everyone's laughing. Ha, and he, ha, yeah, ha. he keeps aiming a chainsaw as if it were a gun, but it's just <laughs> <Yeah>. a chainsaw. <laughs> yes, this is now Walker, Texas Chainsaw, chainsaw Massacre, Massacre Ranger. Ranger. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we all let's all say it together, everybody. I want to see that season of Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> you got the Red Ranger, the Blue Ranger, Leatherface, the, the, the Walker, <laughs> Texas Massacre Ranger. <laughs> So when they morph, do they just like put on denim? Like what happened? <laughs> <laughs> now they imagine put on denim and the old Power Rangers faces. Now oh. imagine another face in like <laughs> another face in high school getting bullied by people. <laughs> oh poor, he's a Blue Ranger. Poor Leatherface. Yeah, yep. I think and then he teaches Leatherface to start kicking people out of windows right. and shit. And right. then Megazord is like a Dodge Ram pickup that like. <laughs> I think with, some, yeah, with like chainsaws instead of like rearview mirrors. I think there's some point where like he's teaching Leatherface karate and martial arts, but then Leatherface teaches him. You know what, man? Like how to chains- rip out somebody's fucking spot. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, they both have things to learn from each other. Yeah. You know, hey, bear traps, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fucking hammers? Give him exactly. a shot. Exactly, yeah. It's him Walker. like teaching him to spin kick, and then, yeah, he's using a hammer to beat somebody over the head with it. Yeah, they make a good team. Because you oh. know what? They There's no repercussions for those Texas right. Rangers, so he can cut anybody in half that he fucking wants. Walker teaches Leatherface to spin kick, and then Leatherface is like showing him he like ties a chainsaw to Walker's leg, so now when he spin kicks, Whoa. it's like, I add my Holy power to yours. Shit. It's that like a shittier awesome. version of Grindhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, that's good for them. Yeah, they did. They found it. <laughs> My God, that's the the roundhouse. Right. Chainsaw. Yeah, he just like roundhouse kicks like some just like bar asshole at the bar, <laughs> yeah. cuts his head off, and he's just like made in America. <laughs> <laughs> There's he also his blood is squirting. He's got like screaming. brass knuckles that have chains on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Motorized chains. This is a fun scene too, where uh, Leatherface teaches uh, Walker how to dance. Like Leatherface was like, oh, oh it's yeah. okay. So you just like kind of. Circle around and don't. Sorry, your voice is too gravelly to be Chuck Norris. Yeah. Sorry. So you just sort of uh, spin around there and uh, like wave it. Wear a okay. tie. Yeah. That's you. Yeah, wear a tie. It's way too short. And uh, by the way, I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> this is in fact my inner monologue. <laughs> I can hear it. Very nice. 
or inner monologues, like ghost monologues. Yeah. I can hear those. And then uh, Walker's just like combing Leatherface's like bad wig he wears, on top. <laughs> or his hair. I don't know if it's his hair or it's wig. Definitely yeah. a wig. Yeah, he's like combing the wig for him. Oh yeah, because to Does Trevet have hair? Because that would <laughs> yeah, yeah. He might steal the hair. That's a good point. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah, true. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Very Real Tournament. We did it again. Woo! Walker, Texas, Chainsaw Massacre, Ranger. Ranger. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he wins again. Yep. I mean, who, who thought Chuck Norris is going to lose? You yeah, he knew. doesn't, according to all the memes. Yep. He is God. He is time. He is space. The meme before memes. Yeah, the meme that started all the memes. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Mm-hmm. 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 So, if you like what you heard, tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your creepy grandpa, uncles. <laughs> you might be dead. Who knows? <laughs> tell them all, unless they're a bunch of psychopaths. Uh, you know what? We'll take them, yeah, too. We just want the them. listens. Why not? We don't have to meet them. We just want the listens. I don't right, care. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> um, tell them to go to our website, vrtcast.com, that has all of our episodes. You can also find us in all the podcast apps. I'm talking... Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Stitcher. I think Joey said we're in iHeartRadio now. No, it wasn't Joey. It was my mom. She said that. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, tell them to, to listen, subscribe, download, all that stuff. We want to hear from you guys. We want to know that the fans are enjoying this. Also at our website, you can find our other podcast. That's called Very Real Talk. Ch- it's a podcast uh, that we, me, Colin, Joey do. Uh, Corey's on it sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> um, and it's just like a slice of life thing. We just tell you about stories. We pick topics. We play games. It right. is a blast. Stories. And unlike this one, it is a breezy hour, and we make sure that that happens every time. <laughs> that podcast comes out weekly on Wednesdays, so search that in your podcast right. apps subscribe we get your, very much appreciate get your it. hump day right with some very real talk exactly yep. covers the in between weeks precisely yeah and it's great because we don't have to watch any shitty movies for that one ever it's great well we joey, should have been doing that all along joey makes me watch his home videos <laughs> oh no kind of shit well joey still like walks in for very real talk and is like okay i've watched all the power rangers what are we talking <laughs> right, about yeah, right. like, and i'm like i thought we were talking about jobs or something <laughs> power Every- rangers is a job <laughs> yeah watching <laughs> power my rangers job. is a job <laughs> I'm paid by a mysterious rich benefactor. I don't know what he's planning with me yet. It's Heim Saban himself. <laughs> Just keeps sending me money in these <laughs> tubes. <laughs> it's the prince of Nigeria? <laughs> it always comes in yen, and I have to go and get it changed over. Anyway, it's it's fun. And Joey's like depressed. He has big bags under his eyes and stuff. I haven't seen the sun in four days. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's really funny. I miss my brother. That's why he oh, has no. all those skulls, man. Why? Because he never leaves the house. He's going crazy. Oh, okay. Sidebar. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should have said that first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Too late. Joey heard everything. The skulls Damn of the it. Power Rangers that have passed. <laughs> Saban uh, says- goes to those funerals and... Uh, like has a me- real life Megazord come down and steal the casket, and then Whoa. he's like polishing their skulls. <laughs> he's like, "You'll be a Power Ranger forever." Whoa. <laughs> That's what weird rich people do. I'm just yeah. saying, we'll never know their secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming up next episode, we got a couple of classic action badasses coming right at you. We got. The Last Samurai, starring Tom Cruise himself. Thomas. Is that a classic? <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Tom Cruise. Tom is Cruise classic. is a classic yeah, okay, badass. Okay, he runs a lot. Probably, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but yeah, <laughs> it's been a while for me too. Uh, and he will be taking on the last action hero, oh, fuck, Arnold fuck, fuck, Schwarzenegger fuck, 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 fuck. himself. So take the time to check those movies out but once again i must add watch them for free i'm not trying to give all these hollywood bigwigs money so go find your old vhs of last action hero right. 
And, and you're like barely somewhat new, but not really DVD of the last ever run. I think HD DVDs were out then. Ooh, so maybe. find your HD find DVD. Your full screen DVD. <laughs> full screen. Double sided DVD. To, to exactly. You're going to flip it around. Of the last samurai and check it out. So you'll be on the same level as us when the episode comes out. Yeah. All right, guys. Any also more? Also, watch oh. a season or two of Power Rangers. Just for oh, fun. No. Why not? Just. <laughs> Haim Saban might send you a check <laughs> or just like yen in a tube. I don't know. He's or- not Japanese. <laughs> so? <laughs> yen is still money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why are you complaining? Well, yeah, he sends do- like US currency to people in China. He <laughs> sends- <laughs> He sends rupees to like people in Canada. He's just fucking with everybody because he's a rich person he and they're crazy. <laughs> right? They do whatever they want. That's what I would do. All right, and then, and then he sends you a little hologram that's like twenty million dollars, just so it can say, "Like I just sent you yen. Fuck you." <laughs> this <laughs> Thank means you for watching nothing my show. to you. Why didn't you go see the movie that came out? All right, enough of this, guys. I'm stopping it right now. Let's get right out of here. I'm Nick Potter. I'm Joey Potter. Oh, I'm Colin Sage, and I'm Corey Music. And I'm worried, and it hasn't <laughs> just been real; it's been very real. Why the fuck are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> Corey, you're I, supposed to be supplemental. I, I, I need you to don't have any butler ideas. Butler it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> butler was never like, guys, I have something to say. That he never. <laughs> <laughs> never.